Introducing a kinder, gentler Megatron. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Mastermind Creations, Tyrantron! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Tyrantron, and we have Tyrantronus, yes, you get both, Tyrantron, Tyrantronus, leader, gladiator, and a dang good dancer. On the side of the box, you have Tyrantron, Tyrantron, Tyrantronus, Tyrantron, Tower, 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 on the top, Tyrantron tied to bridge about the bottom bullet. On the bottom, Tyrantron did the bridge morning. Please don't eat anything in this box. It could be very bad for you. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. You can shoot, you can fly, you can stand, you can stand when it's back to you. You can do a thing, you can do that, you can hold things, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with a nice image there of Tyrantron. And on the back, you have his tech specs. If that interests you, hooray for cards. So moving right along here, we have Tyrantron, which is Mastermind's take on IDW Megatron, the Megatron from the comics. And uh, this is this is very nice. I like this. I like this very, 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 very much. Very. <laughs> it's a very cool figure. So here he is in his jet mode, and I do quite like the jet mode. I think it's uh, very nicely done. And just looks quite cool in my opinion. And you can see the whole nose cone section here done in red and the black and gray. And it is a jet with uh, with tank treads. Because, you know, why not? Why not? It's a jet with tank treads. But the tank treads are very nicely done in a nice gun metal gray. And you can see all that nice silver throughout the figure. And you got some black, you got some red. And going down the back here, yeah. on the underside, you can kind of see how everything's going to work out there. But yeah, very nicely done at jet mode, in my opinion. So you have that time for comparison. Here he is with Mastermind's take on Whirl. As you can see how these two scale with one another. Yeah, that's and here he is with the last night Voyager Megatron. Just so you can kind of get a sense here of how he scales with a mainline Megs. So there you have that. Now, as you saw on the packaging, he can be either Megatron or Megatronus, and right now he has all of the uh, the Megatron parts on him. This is the Megatron configuration, but you can totally swap all this out to make him Megatronus. So to do that. You just gotta do a lot of part swapping. So you wanna take this whole front nose cone section here, just pop that off. You can see just a peg that goes right in there. And you pop that off, put that off to the side. Uh, this little gun right here, you pull this off. Just pegs in, so you pop that off. Uh, you raise up these panels right here. They just plug in right there. And you take these wing sections, they tab in right in here. So you just raise that up and then you pull these off. So just untab and pull off the wings like that. And then you come to the underside here and you remove the chest piece, put that off to the side, and then you take his Megatron head and you pop that off. So there you go. <laughs> so there he is all stripped down. And now we will put on the Megatronus parts. So we bring in the new chest piece and it's just four posts, four ports. Just plug that on. We'll take the new head here, we'll show everything off in a little more detail in a bit. I'll just plug that on, make sure the head is facing the top of the, uh, the alt mode here. And then we take these new pieces, and these will plug on right here, like so. And make sure they tab in to the top of the forearms there. And you bring this one in, and tab that on, boop, and boop. Like that, and then you can bring these back down and peg these back into place, like so. And we also take this little, this little drill tip right here, and that's going to plug in right there where that gun was, like that. And then we bring in this entirely new nose cone section here with the drill, and that will plug in right there. And here we have the alt mode for Megatronus. So you can see now, he's like a drill tank 
thing going on there, which looks, again, pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it. You can see like the, the caution stripes there, the yellow and the black. This one's on the back now. Got a little drill right there. Uh, the drill does spin. It doesn't spin freely, but you can spin it if you want to. And the drill tip itself is done in a very nice gun metal gray. And yeah, so there you have Megatronus's alt mode. So now that we've seen both of his alt modes, let's get down to robot mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing you want to do is you want to come to the front here and you want to remove this whole section here. What parts for me? It's okay. It's okay. Come back here and raise up these panels. And then you're going to come to the arms here and you're just going to unpeg them from the sides. They do lock in quite securely, they just snap right in, so pull that up, pull that up, that one comes off a bit easier. And now you can take this whole section here and raise that up, and you kind of take the legs here and just kind of angle them down a bit so you can get under here and slide these bits up, like that. So slide those up, once you do that, you can just take this whole assembly here, just bring that up against his back, and then you can take the shoulders and just snap them in to the side of the body, like so. So now we'll start working on the legs. So you want to rotate the waist 180, like so. Split the legs, and there is a button right here, a little release button that you want to hold down as you extend the legs. And they still are quite stiff, but there you go. So extend the legs downward, and then you just flip up the toe. You want to take this little panel here and just bring that out. And flip out the heel, and they have a leg all done. Flip that out, open, flip, and they have the legs all done. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's get them all situated here, and we will move on to the upper body. So as far as the upper body goes, you just rotate the arms down. You just want to untab that panel from the forearm, and then untab the forearm itself, that just tabs in right there, bring that down, rotate it so the elbows are oriented properly, then you just take the forearm, and slide it up to reveal the hand, and this panel right here, you just flip back, and there you go. Second fast, same as the fast, rotate, untab, untab, swing around, push up, bring that back, and then you just take his head, rotate it around, and here we have the first form of, the, oops, one more thing to do right here. These little panels, you just want to swing them out to the sides like that. There we go. Now we're done. So there you have Tyrantronus, a.k.a. Megatronus, in his robot mode. And looks quite, quite nice. I dig it. I dig it. So let's get in close here so we can take a look. Not at his chest, at his noggin. There's his noggin. Uh, very nice head sculpt. Nice paintwork there. You got the red on the forehead with the yellow and black stripes. You have some nice metallic red there for the eyes. Looks very good. You got some spots of black there as well. Very nicely done. You got the yellow and black stripes on the chest. And overall, a very nice looking bot, if I do say so myself. And I do, because I'm the only one in the room. But again, lots of nice silver on this figure. And going up the back. Just has a little bit of a backpack. Not a whole lot going on there. And if you want to, you can take this old nose cone section right here. This tread just slips back. And you have this big square post that will go right in here in his forearm and you can just plug that into his arm like so plug that in. There we go. you can just plug that into his arm and you can have a giant drill weapon if you want or if you don't like that you can remove the drill tip and plug in a proper cannon barrel right there and there you go so you got that look going on if you wish so there you have Tronus's robot mode, or Megatronus's robot mode. So now let's go full Megs here. So to do that, I'm just going to remove this, put that off to the side, and remove the shoulder pieces. Remove the shoulder piece, 
pop off his chest, rip off his head, Boop, just on a ball joint, just pops right out. Remove a little drill tip here, which can be a bit hard to get off. There we go. And now he's there, all bare and headless. <laughs> so, pop on his chest. We'll take the wings. Plug those back onto his shoulders, and the wings just get folded to the back like that. And you just pop the other one on. Fold that to the back. Take the little gun here, and that just plugs right back in. Right there. And we take the head. Pop that on, and now he's back to full-on Megatron mode. And this is really why you're buying this toy, because you want comic book Megs, and that is definitely comic book Megs, and that looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They did a fantastic job with this figure, in my opinion, anyway. So again, let's get in close. Not on the chest, even though there is some nice detail on his chest. Again, very comic accurate, but let's take a look at that noggin. And again, a very... Very nicely done. Very comic accurate head sculpt there. Very cool. Nice metallic red there for the eyes. Yeah, very cool. Very well done. Got a new chest piece there, which again, nice and comic accurate. Would have been nice if they had actually uh, filled in this detail in black. But still, looks good. But yeah, we have the new pieces on. You see the wings just fold back there. Not a whole lot new. We've seen everything else on this. It's just those parts that you're swapping out. And you can give him the uh, the jet nose cone here. This can become his cannon. You just flip the tread back. And that connects the same way onto the forearm. Like so. So he has that cannon going on if you wish. If you want to have this cannon on him, you totally can. It's up to you. You do have a level of customization here. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. So do what you want. If you want, hey, plug them both on. Why not? There you go. He has the port on both forearms. So there you go. You can have two cannons. Why not? Dare I say why not? He's the Megs. He can have two cannons if he wants to. Hey, who's going to tell him no? I'm not going to tell him no. Are you going to tell him no? I'm not. Oh, Anyway. So, there you go. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can get some wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Again, have him looking out. The base of the neck is on a hinge there, so that can move a bit as well. You can't really, you can't really look down that far, but you can look up a good bit. Of course, you have full 360 rotation as well. Arms. Can do a full 360 on a nice ratchet. Inward and outward movements. Uh, you do have rotation out to the bicep. You do have a double jointed elbow, so it gives him over 90 degrees of bends there. He does have wrist rotation. The hands can open and close. The index finger is a separate piece right there, and the other three fingers are just molded together. And he also has a hinge right here at the wrist that allows his hand to pivot downward. And that's for holding a sword, and we'll show that off in a little bit. He does have waist rotation, which is quite snug. Uh, you do have these little hip skirt pieces, which can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move. Move these out of the way. Legs can move forward, that far, back, that far, outward, that far. You do have rotation out to the thigh. He does have a double jointed knee. So you have a nice range of bends there. And the feet are on a ball joint. They can move up. If you move this bit of the tread out of the way, can move down a little bit, and you do get some tiltage there as well. So he's pretty poseable. So let's get him situated here. Because we got some other accessories here to show off. He's, his waist joint, on mine anyway, is like super tight. Let me just get him all situated here. Come on, Megs. Work with me, Megs. Work with me. I work for no one! No, you work with me. You Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Now, as far as other accessories go, he does have his, uh, his lightsaber here. <laughs> with the handle done in that gunmetal gray and the transparent purple blade. So, you can have him holding that. If you want to, and he does hold that nice and secure, and that's where that hinge there in the wrist comes in handy because you can have him 
kind of pointing the sword, you know, it doesn't move that much, but so you can get kind of a bit of a sword pointing pose going on there, if you wish. And he does also include his Energon mace right here. You can see the ball, the spiky ball is done in a nice transparent purple plastic. Uh, the spikes are nice and bendy, which is good, so they won't actually hurt you. You can see the chain is just all chromed out in purple. So it's nice and shiny, shiny, and the handle is done in that gunmetal gray. And you can have him holding the old ball and chain if you wish. And there you go. And the last thing you get is an alternate head for uh, for their tarn. And you have the removable mask. And ah, that's just that's creepier than the face they gave him on the original toy. That's just ah, you can see nice metallic red there for the eye and the mask. Just plugs right on. So if you want to, you can just pop this on Tarn's noggin and give him a uh, a new face if you want to. I'll just pull off the mask here just so you can see the two faces here side by side. There you go. So you have the option there. And one cool thing is that the, uh, the mask that comes with your replacement head actually does have a little magnet on it. So if you want to, you can take this and just stick it onto Megatron's chest here <laughs> like you did in the comic <laughs> so you can have that going on if you wish so that's pretty cool um this mask you can put on this head if you want to uh there is actually enough friction here it doesn't actually plug in the original it actually pegs in right there um but there is actually enough friction here if you get it lined up just right and push it on there's enough friction to actually keep that mask on so if you just want to use that mask, you can. Um, it's not hard to pop it off. But like I said, there's, there's enough friction to at least hold it on. It's not going to fall off if you look at it funny. But, yeah. Hey, you got options. You got options there. So There you go. So there you have all that. And uh, now for comparison. Here he is with Mastermind's take on Whirl. As you can see, how they look together. Uh, here he is with Mastermind's Cyclonus. You can see how they scale with one another. Uh, here he is with Tarn. So you can see how they scale with one another. They're basically the same heights. You got that. Uh, here he is with the last night Voyager Megatron. Again, just for a, uh, a mainline comparison there. Just so you can get a sense of his size. Uh, here he is with Leader Class Magnus! So you can see how he scales with a mainline Leader Class toy. There you go, that. And here he is with his co-captain, Rodimus. So you can see how they look together. I think the scale here is a bit off because I think Rodimus is supposed to be a bit bit more shorter than this. I, I think in the comics, I think, I, I think in the comics, Rodimus comes up to like his, like, like around here, seems like. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I, I think either Megatron's supposed to be taller or he's supposed to be shorter. Either way, I think the scale's a little bit off there, but still they look good together. The two co-captains. And in case anybody wants to know, here he is with OpX, Generation Toys, IDW, Optimus Prime. So, as you can see, Oh, they scale with one another. So there you go. Um, now one more thing to talk about is actually the articulation on this arm with the cannon on it. Now, one thing that is a bit of a bummer is that uh, if you go to bend his arm, you can see things kind of start to collide here. So if you want to bend his arm, most of the time you will just pop the cannon off. So it's kind of a case of you have to bend his arm and then get this plugged back in. To have everything sit the way it's supposed to, otherwise, as you can see here, things just collide with one another, and sometimes you can kind of just pop that cannon off. So, that that doesn't work as smoothly as it should with the cannon on, but eh, you can work around it, but it is what it is. But overall, though, um, I think he is a very cool figure. Um, I, I love the look of him. Um, transformation is, you know, it's straight to the point, and it works, which 
makes me very happy. And overall, just a, just a good, solid figure. And right after I'm done shooting this video, I'm going to slap an Autobot symbol on his chest because he needs it. <laughs> For those of you who aren't reading the comics, uh, what's wrong with you? First of all, read the comics. They're amazing. Uh, but in the comics, for those of you who don't know, um, Megatron is an Autobot now. He switched sides. Yes, he's, he's a good guy now and working hand in hand with Rodimus and the crew of the Lost Light. And uh, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> you know, as, as much as I enjoy the cartoons, as much as I enjoy the movies, if you want some really, 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 really good storytelling in the Transformers universe, read the comics, because that is where it's at, man. The comics just, they just go anywhere they want to go, and the characters are always interesting, and like I said, just overall, just amazing storytelling, and, you know, they just go to places that you wouldn't think of even going to like making Megatron an Autobot, make it, actually making Megatron switch sides. You wouldn't think that would happen in any other form of media, but in the comic books, they made it happen. And you know what? It's worked and it's just, it's very engaging. So if you haven't read the comics, for the love of God, read the comics. They are so good. But anyway, if you would like a Tyrant Tron or any of Mastermind Creations other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Mastermind Creations Tyrant Tron, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face. Look, Megatron, this is my ship, and we will do things my way. No, this is our ship, remember? We are co-captains. And I say we should have a burrito cook on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's impossible. When will he rest? Who can rest when burritos are on the line? Okay, look, you are just being unreasonable now. You are being unreasonable and silly. Didn't you want to put a slip and slide in your quarters? This is my ship! Our ship! Our ship! Co-captains! Co-captains!